Thank you. We have breaking news. From NASA, we received word that, well, wait, hey, hey Ronald, are you, are you serious? Uh, okay, um, uh, well, recent reports indicate that fast traveling, I, I, need, I need to call my wife. What? what? Why? All right. Uh, Look, folks, uh, there, there's like an army of meteors or, 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 or comets. There, there's like a, there's like a, thousands of, of space, ro space rocks. Space rocks are coming towards the Earth. Uh, impacts Aaron! will be numerous from all directions, scattered all around the world. That, I, I don't know how science works, but that, that doesn't sound right. Anyway, th this must be some sort of miracle, but not like a good miracle. We're talking about a bad miracle. Like how Russians what? must feel when they watch that. Is this a joke? Movie. This is not a joke. Look, folks, no one can help you. As it turns out, the, the, the space rocks are carrying this, this rare disease called uh, uh, Trinidad. I can't pronounce that. We're, 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 we're calling it the space disease. All right, folks, the space disease coming to Earth. Eric! I can't make the food cook any faster, you know. Get in here right now. I guess I could turn it up a little bit. Calm down, dinner's almost ready. I think something's going on. I told you I don't talk to her anymore. Uh, no, look! Uh, hang on, dinner's gonna burn. Hang on one second. So let me explain. No, no, that Get will take too long. right now! Let me sum up. According to scientists, after initial destruction, only 99.999% of the Earth's population will be immune to the space disease. Whoa. <laughs> uh, then they expect the 60 to 85 percent of the remaining population to develop abnormalities. Abnormal? What are you talking about? Like, like super mutants or something? Like fallout? An infected population will just. Well, I hope you're happy. Ruin dinner again. What else could go wrong? We have to get out of here now. Yeah, I figured. You want now Hefe again? Nah, we just ate there on Friday. Let's not go back there. Come on! All right, fine. El Jefe again. Makes sense. Okay. Alexa, uh, call out Jefe. In other news, Hamburglar 3 reaches its theatrical release this summer. Look forward to that. Just keep your eyes on the road. What does it matter? We're going to die anyway. Just keep driving. Where are we going? Somewhere that makes us happy. Right. Do you remember this? Huh? The bike path. Remember it? Oh, yeah, I do. That was a great day. How about the time we visited the environmental center? First time you told me you loved me. I wish we would have moved here. That was our favorite place to visit. It was better than home. Nothing could bother us here. I can't believe other people are here. I guess other people had the same idea. Can't even get good seats to the end of the world. Well, maybe if you didn't spend 30 minutes picking out a shirt. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't know what to wear when space rocks are about to destroy the world. 30 minutes and you pick out your Chicago Bears shirt. It's my favorite shirt. I'm not gonna die arm in arm with you wearing that shirt. There, that's better. Why didn't you say anything before we left? Is this really the best way to spend our time? I don't even like this sweater. Well, I bought you that one too. Why didn't you say something at Christmas? Let's go. I went over here. Yeah. Hey guys. Get out of here! Sit down. I can't believe it. The last guy I'm ever going to meet had us ripped into. Couldn't have been a nicer guy. Sit down. <sighs> now what? I don't know. Should we do the Rogue One? You know what I think about that movie. So you have any better ideas? Mm. What about the notebook? Ah, uh, you're right, we're too young. Uh, Thelma and Louise? Uh, where are we gonna get a mountain this time of day? Uh, I got it, Bonnie and Clyde. <laughs> you're joking. Uh, right, no guns. 
So, the rogue one. I mean, you mean to tell me that Darth Vader just shows up at the end and goes ham on a bunch of guys, but a day later in episode four, he can't even move around when he does battle with Obi-Wan? Focus. I mean, I understand the need to fix him after what they did to him in the prequels, but come on, man, continuity. Eric. I'm sorry. So what was your favorite memory? That sunset we spent together when you brought me here for my birthday. Yours? Same. I think I see one. This is it. It's strangely beautiful. It is. I love you. I love you too.